This is a demo of the integrated spin debugger built into Viewport. Let's get started by selecting the debug spin file and switching to the code view. The code view shows us the objects built into this spin file, a directory chooser, and a list of spin files. We're currently viewing the debug file in source view and this is a um, code editor with familiar propeller tool syntax highlighting. I can make changes in this file um, just like normal by pressing enter, delete, or typing any commands in. And I can load this file with debug information to the propeller by clicking the start button up here, start debugging. This loads it to the propeller and now my view has changed. I get a couple additional windows, a profiler, a call stack, a watch window, a view of a propeller, memory, and a command interpreter. My program is currently running. I can see the values of my variables that I've shared with viewport change in real time. And I can see the profiler is telling me that reset A is using more time than reset B. It's currently running and I can interrupt it by clicking on the pause button. Once I pause, the cog has stopped executing new instructions and now I can step one step at a time across one line of spin code. I can see what the values of variable A and B are. A is 90, B is 200, and now when I hit one step, A is now 91 because it was incremented. I can change the value of these variables by just mousing over them and typing a new number. So I can type a hundred in here. And that immediately changes the memory on the propeller and updates the display. I can keep stepping and I can also use the command interpreter to step a number of steps. So I can type S20 and it now took 20 steps. And we're now in the reset routine and um, we can keep taking additional steps over here. It goes from one function to another and here it's incrementing C. And we can also set breakpoints. Um, so I'll set a breakpoint here on line 74 just by clicking next to 74. And now when I click on run again, it'll run until it hits the breakpoint and I can run from this breakpoint until I hit the next one. Each time C gets incremented by one. Um, and I can also step um, over instructions as well as step out of the current function that I'm in. The profiler shows me how much time is spent relatively in the different functions that the cog ends up in. The call stack shows me which functions I've already been to getting up to this point. So I've now been in reset A and now when I go one further I'm now in reset A, reset B. This tells me the path that the code took to get to the current position. Every time that I take a step all 32 kilobytes of global memory are downloaded and showed in the memory display. I can scroll up and down in here or I can click on the variables that I've changed and immediately be taken to that app. Enjoy debugging. Goodbye.